So here we are in deepest, darkest Bedfordshire, and in on a, a snowy day. On a snowy day, and and in January. look, stop interrupting. This is my bit. <laughs> okay, sorry. And here we are. This is a real sports vibe exclusive. We have none other than Una Healy from the Saturdays and some rugby player who thinks he can sing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going to go over to Una, who's going to tell us what uh, she and her backing singer is going to perform for us today. Well, Una? I'd be very unhappy to hear you call him a backing singer because um, he's actually part of a duet now, so he's not no longer just a backing singer. He is um, part of the duo of um, Ben and Una. Ben Una. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. This is awful cheesy. So what are we going to hear today, folks? Um, we're going to do a Saturday song. Um, obviously today I don't have the other four girls with me, so Ben is substituting the other four girls. He always wanted to be one of the Saturdays, so now it's a big opportunity. Just, do you reckon he's probably, he might make it up to a Tuesday? Maybe not the whole hog, maybe not the Saturday. Yeah. No, no, he, uh, he's, I think he's more Sunday because he's very lazy. So. Ah. I agree. Are you just going to take this, Ben, by the way? Well, yeah, she wears the pants in the relationship, so... Oh, well, let's not go there. I have to deal with it after you go, you see. Fair enough. Well, we're, we're, we're poised with bated breath for this music and exclusive. Uh, music and rugby come together. So, over to you. Ooh, yeah, yeah. We used to go together Looking after each other I thought that you were better. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Ooh, you used to be so laid back. You always kept it so cool. I loved you because of all that. That's the truth. I don't think you know where your head is. I was always there to help you break the fall. When you when you met uh, Ben, did you know he could sing? Um, well, he informed me like fairly quickly that he that he could sing and that he and liked ben to shook, sing. Shook a hand, kissed on the cheek, said, "I'm Ben, rugby player and a singer." And a singer, yeah. yeah. So I said, "I, you know, it didn't take long. He's actually not hard to persuade to sing. He sings all the time in the house. Like, every, like he sings. We're driving along. He's always singing. When he's washing up, he's singing. When he's just walking around the house, he's just always singing. So it wasn't long when I discovered that he could sing. And I just said." I oh, can't sing. If you can sing, sing me something. And he's like, oh, I don't know. Okay. Oh, yeah, straight away. He wasn't a bit embarrassed to sing. And he sang, um, he doesn't think he did sing it, but you sang that song, you know, that one. Uh, is it that? Michael uh, Jackson. No, um, uh, the flight. It's not. I believe I can fly. Oh, Kelly. Yeah, you sang it. Oh, he did. I swear he did. He did sing that. I sang Michael Jackson. I sang Michael Jackson. I did. I sang Michael Jackson. I did. Now, we'll go with Una's story. It's much oh, better. He right. sang I believe I can fly. Well, I don't even know the words for I believe I can fly. Well, I didn't believe. Well, anyway, let's start for domestic. Um, great. So, but he can sing, to be fair, can't he? Yeah, he can. He's a very good singer. Yeah. I used to be in a band called Anonymous when yeah. I was young as well. Like, yeah. I was like 12 or something, weren't you? Why don't you maybe? I outgrew the band though. Maybe you should call yourselves Bononymous. No, oh, it's a new one. Just a thought. <laughs> Just to explain, by the way, Jackson has joined this interview. Jackson is the dog named after, well, there's again some myth behind this. Uh, Jack Daniel's whiskey. Because he's the colour of whiskey. And the Una wanted to call him Sonny. So we took Jack. Sonny? Sonny, yeah. As in Sonny no, no, and Cher. No, 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 like Sonny, and then I said, because he's half Jack Russell, half Pog, so the Jack, Jack. Ah. Uh, the Jack. And then Jack, Michael Jackson obviously died. Jack Son, Jackson so. Sonny. Huh? Jackson was his name. So he's a bit of a tribute to, uh, to Michael Jackson yeah, as well. Yeah. 
Because he was born the year that Michael Jackson died. He was born around the same time as Michael yeah. Jackson died. Now, for the eagle-eared, if that's the right phrase, there's a slight Irish accent there, Una. Now, you were just saying beforehand that you used to perform a lot before the, the group was formed. You performed a lot, and sometimes at, even at sports stadium, didn't you? Um, well, I performed, uh, this is really weird, because before, years ago, it was like about, many, about four years ago, I performed. Yeah, I used to do a lot of, of gigs in bars and restaurants and pubs, and it was one in Limerick when Ben Zolte and Sale were playing Monster. Wasn't that right? Yeah. Yeah, and... Um, and I was performing there, and I remember the, the, um, the sale team being there afterwards, after the game. And, and I said to Ben, I said, how are you, were you there? And he would have been there if he wasn't injured, so that we, our, pa our paths would have crossed. Yeah. We, May, we were destined to be <laughs> yeah. Maybe the time wasn't right then. <laughs> no. But you used to perform in bars, you, it was just you, singer, songwriter. Just, yeah, just me and the guitar. I, I used to gig with, with other um, musicians as well, I used to gig in, with part, as part of like, you know, jazz duos and other just acoustic duos and um, corporate work and mostly just pub gigs on my own really with the guitar I used to perform for a couple of hours at a time and just doing all the crowd pleasers covers as well as a few of my own as well. Yeah. I used to bring my own PA system in, set it up, sometimes on my own but mostly with my parents as my roadies and used to help me carry in the gear and set it up. But it's um, nice to hear that sort of story though because it just shows yeah. you've, you know, this is not overnight, you've, you've done the hard yards Yeah. to get to where you have, you know? I mean. Well, no, not like you. <laughs> now, Ben's just been uh, named in the England squad. Congratulations, Ben. Long overdue, if I may say so. Yeah, I think you're far too entertaining and attacking personally to play for England, but there we go, that's my view. Um, and you'll be playing Ireland, and hopefully... Hopefully you will. Hopefully... Well, that's the question. That's the question. That's the big question. Yeah. Do you want Ben to play for England against Ireland? And if he does, what are you going to do? Oh, I'm just going to be like... We've talked about this yeah, a few times. Yeah, no matter what, I'm going to... It's a win-win situation for me because obviously I'm going to have a good game. But if Ireland win, I'm delighted because my country won, you know. But if Ben wins, I'm disappointed for Ireland to not have won, but I'd be just happy for Ben, you know. But it's just... It's just a, a very patriotic thing. I'm always going to support my country when it comes so to... So she might get a shirt, an Ireland shirt, yeah. with 450 on the back of it. Is the best scenario then a, an, an Irish win with a Foden hat trick? Yeah. Would that be perfect? <laughs> yeah. 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 That would be an ideal situation, you know. Just like him to, him to have a good game. Um, what, I'm doing. what would happen? What would happen hypothetically if Foden comes off the bench and scores an 80 meter individual solo try that wins the game for England in the last minute? I'll just be, have to be very careful because there'll be a lot of Irish people around me and I'm just like, oh, what, Ben? Oh, no, I better not say that. <laughs> have you had the dubious pleasure, Una, of meeting his teammates? Because I find that rugby players do tend to be overgrown five-year-olds. Um, they're all really nice. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Neil Bess is a bit of a character, all right, isn't he? He's so funny. And then, um, you know, I've met them, I've met them all. They're all really nice. Like, they... I know they take the fist out of him a lot because of, of me and all that and the singing and this kind of things. They just put them apart, but that's like healthy as well. It's good for him as well, toughen him up. Ground me. So, oh. we're coming to the end of this uh, lovely time here in Bedfordshire with Una and Ben. Thank you so much for this exclusive gig. <laughs> and, uh, and you're going to end uh, this little session with uh, a, few, a few chords from... Your last single, which perhaps you'd like to introduce, Una. Okay, we'll do uh, a chorus from Forever Is Over, which was our first single off our second album. And here we go. That's number two. Number two. Woo. Forever is over.